Hello boys and girls, this is a short video to discuss the exercise on 29th of August and we will discuss question number 1, number 5, number 7 and number 11. So for question number 1, chromium is an element in D block of the periodic table. Write the electronic configurations of chromium and explain the anomalous electronic configurations in chromium. So in our chapter 2.3, we have encountered two anomalous case, which is chromium, proton number 24, and also copper with a proton number of 29. So sometimes the symbol of chromium will show it like this, whereby the 24 represent the number of proton, or for copper, it looks like this. So to explain the anomalous electronic configurations, you need to write out two electronic configurations for chromium. The first one will follow the alpha principles for 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 4, 3p6, 4s2, and 3d4. So remember, electron follow the alpha principle will fill in the 4s before 3d. But in fact, in the actual electronic configuration, it's not the case. So you will show the anomalous electronic configuration by rearranging the electron for 4s to become 4s1, 3d4 to become 3d5. Okay, so pay attention to this 4s and 3d's orbitals. To explain this anomalous scenario, the reason is because the half-filled 3d orbitals or we can write in bracket 3d5, okay, it's more stable. Therefore, it is more preferable. Okay, if for the case for copper 29, then it will be 4s1, 3d10, and so on. So the reason, you may refer back to your notes. For 1b, give a set of quantum number for an, for an electron in 3p orbitals. So the sets of quantum number, m, l, and s, 3, and then 1 is for the p-shape, l value is equal to 1, and then your m value, it can either be negative 1, 0, or positive 1, and the spin of electron is either positive half or negative half. So you only give one set of quantum number. For question number 5, the proton number of element t is 20. Write the electronic configurations. And B, predict the stable oxidation state of element T and explain. C, drop, draw the shapes of orbitals and give a set of quantum number for the valence electron. So for A, the electronic configura configurations would go like this. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, and 4s2. So this 4s2, you have the highest value of n, therefore, you have two valence electrons in the s orbitals. So for b, predict the stable oxidations number. Since we have two valence electrons, therefore, the most stable oxidations number will be positive 2. By losing two electrons, it will give you T2 positive. So the reason you just explain the process to achieve this positive two oxidations number. So two electrons are removed to achieve stable noble gas configuration. For C, draw the shape of orbitals. So you need to show your axes. We have Z axis, X axis, and also Y axis. So the shapes of orbitals that refer to the valence electron. So since we know valence electron fall into 4s orbitals, therefore you have the shape of a s orbital, okay, which look like a circle. And give a set of quantum number, NLMS, we got values of 4, we got 0 for L value, and the M equals to 0, and your spin equals to positive half or negative half. Remember, only give one set of quantum number. So for question 7, the following sets of quantum number to represent the three outermost electrons of element Y at ground state. So given in the list over here, we have 300 positive half, 
three zero zero negative half three one negative one positive half so actually this is the set of quantum number okay and if you still remember one electron has one set of quantum number so if you get three set it means you have three electrons so from this two number n and also l you can know what electron is filled inside this orbital so the first set it means the electron is in 3s the second set is also in 3s and the third set it will be in 3p so if you look at this set of quantum number in 3s there's two electron it gives you 3s2 in 3p there's one set of quantum number that means it only got one electron so three of this electron give you the valence electronic configurations of 3s2, 3p1. So for 7a, what is the maximum number of orbitals exist in the shell n equals to 3? So you have to list out. Okay, you have to list out all the values in the shell n equals to 3. When n equals to 3, l equals to 0, 1, or 2. Therefore, the n values when l equals to 0 is 0. When l equals to 1, m equals to negative 1, 0, and positive 1. When l equals to 2, m equals to negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, and positive 2. So altogether, it gives me 1 orbitals from the 3s, 3 orbitals from the 3p, five orbitals from the 3d okay so if you still remember i'm going to change one color over here so this is your 3s okay 303 s 31 is 3p 32 is 3d okay so the total values over here the total orbitals inside three of this subshell is equals to nine orbitals so to answer your question, part A, maximum number of orbitals equals to 9. For questions B, write the electronic configurations of element Y. So since we know the outermost electron, there is 3 electron until 3s2, 3p1. So the electronic configurations will start from 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and 3s2, 3p1. So the clue in the questions is given here, 3 electrons situating at the outermost shell okay so you will have the valence electron 3s2 3p1 for c draw the shapes of orbital for the valence electron so the valence electrons over here we have 3s2 3p1 so that means you need to draw two orbitals okay how to recognize two orbitals so if we look at the orbital diagrams over here 3s2, there's two electron. 3p1, there's one electron. So follow the valence electron. You need to draw one orbital for 3s and one orbital for the 3d. Therefore, you need to draw the 3s shape of orbitals, spherical shape of 3s, and any of the 3p orbitals. So remember, we're only drawing one orbital. So let's say if you want 3px, then you need to draw a dumbbell shape along the x axis. Or you can also draw for 3py or maybe 3pz according to the axis. So for question 11, A, write the electronic configurations of calcium and draw its orbital diagram. So given the proton number for calcium is 20, then you have the electronic configurations of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, and 4s2. And the orbital diagram, it looks like this. 1s2, 2s2, and we have 4s2. For B, when a subshell is labeled 4d, what are the value for l and m? So for 4d, the l values equals to 2, therefore the m values equals to negative 2 negative 1, 0, positive 1, and also positive 2. Question C, the highest energy electrons in an atom Q has a principal number of n equals to 4 and angular momentum quantum number L equals to 0. 
what is the number of electrons present in atom Q? So the keyword server here is the highest energy electron. There is only one electron. And this one electron is in the principal quantum number n equals to 4 and the L equals to 0. That means this electron falls into 4s. Therefore, it gives you the valence electronic configurations of 4s1. Right, we need to come up with the full electronic configurations to know what is the exact number of electrons present. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, and 4s1. Therefore, the total number of electrons, therefore, the total number of electrons present equals to 19.